Y'all you know see Angelo Ball? I'm excited to tell y'all that I'm gonna be playing for Astros Day Jalisco soon. I can't wait to get out there and meet y'all, man, and interact with the fans and get going. So uh, stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. Yes, sir. I'm proud of you, man. Can't wait to see you play for the next journey. I'm proud to watch you, man. Can't wait to see what you do. Hey, hey I'm glad you're on that new team. In Guadalajara, here we come, baby. Hey, congrats on the deal, man. Looking forward to seeing you hoop out there and doing your thing. Get it back on the court and doing what you love to do, man. Much love and wish you much success, my dog. Leangelo just joined the NLBP, which is the top professional basketball league in Mexico. His team, as you heard already, is Jalisco Astros. Now, this league is fairly new. It came into existence in the year 2000, and Jello's team is actually really new. The Astros were created in 2019, but they hit the ground running because they won their first championship in 2022, and then they won again in 2023, so Jello is not joining a bunch of scrubs. Fun fact, the most famous person that probably ever played for this league was back in 2003. It was Dennis Rodman. He played 30 minutes across two games and they paid him about $1,500 per minute. Not bad. Dennis got booed in the first game because as soon as he went out there, he pulled the groin muscle. But in the second game, he got a standing ovation because even though he played 24 minutes, he had 12 rebounds. Typical Dennis Rodman. And I say that just to give you a reference that there are players that come here that you've known about. This news comes about at an interesting time, though, because the Hornets are literally being rebuilt from the ground up. They're keeping a few co cornerstones and the rest of the people are being just cast out, which brings me to James Booknight. Leangelo was in the summer league at the same time as James Booknight and tons of people were saying James Booknight won't pass to Jello or James Booknight doesn't fit better with the team than Jello and everybody said the money's with James Booknight so just go there you're a fool for thinking that Jello could do better than James Booknight but look what just happened James Booknight is weighed so if you ask me they missed an opportunity to take Jello with that team to another level another team is the Detroit Pistons because Jello was in their summer program. He was on the bench, he was in the practices. You guys remember that whole frenzy, but they wanted to prioritize Killian Hayes, which if you look now, the Detroit Pistons just waived him as well. So what I'm saying is I've seen guys prioritized over Leangelo Ball for various reasons and it just didn't pan out. No one gave him the shot that these other guys got. I mean, tons of screw ups, tons of mess ups, turnovers, bad percentages, but they continued to play them because they said that's where the money is. Lo and behold, they end up losing money going in that direction. And had Leangelo Ball been actually given a real shot, and even if he did bad, they would have gained money. But of course, I think that chemistry with LaMelo would have been really great out there on the Hornets. And I think he would have been an excellent guy to go in there with the Pistons as well. Random side note, I know you guys were loving those video recaps I was giving you of LaMelo's games and he got injured and I took a break and then when he came back I didn't start doing those videos again. want to let you know I had an opportunity to work on a movie and I took it. So just letting you guys know what happened this season. Injuries plus I had a different opportunity but with G3 in these games I think I gotta come back. I got to bring the facts. Now, when Jello went to the swarm, did they show pictures of Jello on thumbnails? Yes, they did. But they didn't give him an entire video like the Astros gave Jello. Look on Instagram. You just seen it at the beginning of this video. They showed LaMelo talk about it, uh, Lonzo, LaVar. But they're excited to get Jello, which means what? That means minutes. Finally, go where you're appreciated. I know the London Lions are sitting there rolling their eyes like, oh, man, we could have had him. Now, the season starts in March, so their first game is in March. Keep coming back to this channel. Hit the notification bell because, you know, we got to keep you guys updated for sure. The Ball family has been global for a while. People known about them from their show, from their travels. So being outside of the country, and this country is actually bordering our country. Really, there is no border, honestly. But <laughs> Jello is releasing a new shoe. 
So not only will he have the fan base, hometown fan base of the United States, but now he's gonna venture out to Mexico as well. So he's gonna be dropping a new signature G3 shoe while he's getting on a new team. Actually pretty good timing. Going to be interesting to see how they play Jello, what position he'll be at. Will it be the two? Will it be the three? What do you think he should play? Will he be a starter right away? How is the team going to acclimate with him? Are they gonna integrate well? Don't forget, this is a championship team. Back-to-back -back rings, 2022, 2023. And I'm sure that's a reason why, uh, you know, Jellos can't pick this team. You want to go to a winner. You don't want to go where there's not any good players. And they've already proven themselves. So as Jello walks into the locker room, he knows he's not lacing up with scrubs. I'm not surprised by the family's support because they always support each other. But that was really good to see on video, a calculated piece of content saying we are still together. We, we support Jello. And I just think that was a good look. Is this breaking news to me? No, it is not. I've known about this and I'm glad that I can finally report on it, talk about it, tell you. Also, I'll tell you right now, guys, Jello is not taking this lightly at all. He's not been at home with his new son just sitting around and, um, you know, having family time. Of course, you got family time. But I'm letting you know that this guy has been in grind mode. He's been not for one second, took his foot off the gas about playing professional basketball. And that's encouraging to know. Some people say it's over. Give it up. You're done. Jello is hearing no such thing. He's going to exhaust every avenue, every door. And this is another one. Now, we know that Jello had another surgery, but he said he feels fine now. He said he feels good to go. And, you know, these teams put you through things. You can get out there, run, jump. They see him. They like him. It's a green light. Another thing I can tell you is this. This team listens to Leangelo's camp as far as this. What type of player he is, what type of plays he likes to do, you know, how to really fit him in, not just to their style, but that they can also make sure that he's doing the best thing that he can do. Now, of course, Fairweather fans are going to come out and some will hate, some will wait. But when he starts dropping tons of points and the videos come out and he's on the court snapping, then we're going to see a shift. That's when we see a change. That's when um you know you even have a better case to the nba to join the brothers because i know you guys are tired of hearing it some of you are some of you are just impatient waiting on it to happen but the dream of all three playing together this family has not forgot about that for one bit don't let them signing to different brands fool you on, on them wanting to play together because they still do this was your report leangelo is back on the court like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ball facts again.